Hello, you're James Day, Assistant Professor at Scripps Institution of Oceanography in La Jolla, California, and you're originally from England. So, James, can you quickly describe your career path so far and what you're working on? Sure, of course, Marianne, and good morning. Um, I started off when I was uh, probably about four years old, um, oh, <laughs> looking, at, <laughs> looking at pebbles in the river okay. as my dad was fishing. And I, I, I think since then I've been always interested in rocks. So um, I went to university at Durham and I did a geology degree, undergraduate mm -hmm. degree. And then I stayed and did my PhD there. I enjoyed what, we, what they did there so much I decided to stay. And then I've uh, been on a sort of 10 year sojourn through the US. I started off in Tennessee uh, with Larry Taylor, Professor Larry Taylor at uh, the University of Tennessee. And, I worked on moon rocks there, uh -huh. and then I moved to Maryland with uh, another professor, Richard Walker, and then finally I started forging my own path in, uh, in scripts, so okay. that's really my career path, mm -hmm. and uh, I've always been in rock, interested in rocks, and geochemistry came naturally Okay. For that. And what, what is it that you currently work on? I'm currently working on a range of topics, um, mainly cosmochemistry, so mm -hmm planet formation mechanisms, looking at the formation and origin of the moon, um, asteroidal formation processes. But my other hat is my PhD hat, which is looking at ocean island salts and um, interplate magnetism on the Earth. Okay. And so those, those things keep me quite busy. I imagine. Yes. So what, what do you find most exciting about your work? Uh, well, everything really. Um, what do I find the most exciting is probably just new discoveries, working with enthusiastic people, um, getting the new generation involved in what I do and getting mm -hmm. them excited. Um, there's just so many aspects of what I do that I, I just enjoy. Yes. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing nice. this. So. <laughs> That's right. And what do you find are your biggest challenges? The biggest challenges in science these days are probably the need to always obtain the necessary uh, resources that you require. And mm -hmm. uh, so we're all faced with competing problems. We want to do science, but we also need to uh, raise the funds and so on. And, and I, I think that balance between uh, spending time uh, investing in new ideas and, mm -hmm. and seeing those uh, projects through is probably the hardest thing that that any of us have to face. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I, I have to say that in general, there are very few problems in what I do. I just. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this year, you received the EAG Hootemans Medal, which is awarded to scientists under 35 or within six years of their PhD. You're still young. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, what is your secret, James? Why do you think uh, were the contributors to you receiving this recognition? Um, well, I think. It's down to the people that you've worked with. Um, I think that um, in any kind of uh, award like this, you, yeah. you have to get lucky. Um, mm. And you have to be doing good things, fun things that you enjoy. I think enjoyment is important. But I do think that working with um, people who you enjoy working with and who you um, can bounce ideas off and um, just feed off each other is really helpful. I don't think there's any great secret. I mean, you've got to work reasonably hard. Yes. Uh, and of course, it helps to be uh, under 35 or within six years of a PhD. <laughs> so. It does. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't. I don't think that there's any particular secret. It's just um, a mixture of things. But you can't do it alone either. It's it's just not something that um, is a solo effort. Okay. So there's a lot of other people, specifically. Um, your advisors and people you've worked with, mm. but also um, you know the office mates who have had to suffer your yes. your uh, crazy ideas over the last fifteen years, and um, yes. they need thanks as well. Okay. And what would you say is the most useful advi useful advice that you've ever received in your career? <sighs> well, I was speaking to a colleague of mine this morning, and he said he said get out of geochemistry, but I think he was joking. <laughs> um, I think the, the most useful advice I've had is um, just to follow what you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. um, don't be sidetracked by uh, 
the need to you know, follow the, the bandwagon, if you will, mm. and, and try and just stay the course of what you're doing. And I just get interested in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So my the advice I'm probably given is try and reduce the amount of things that you find interesting. Unfortunately, that's just not possible. <laughs> so, um, so balance is some advice I would probably give to other okay. people as well, okay. if you were to ask me. But, yeah. uh, no, but definitely. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's <laughs> Pass it. on the wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. A, a good balance. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful conference this week. Well, you too, Mary. Thank, thank you. you.